Okay, so I just made a video showing how to uh, pop off one of these keys and, and pop it back on to uh, possibly end up with something like this. Um, I didn't take into account the fact that things uh, don't always go right. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop off one of these keys and we're going to uh, show how the plastic tabs underneath it work. Um, and uh, hopefully in case something does go wrong, you, you might be able to fix it from there. So I'll pop, gently pop the key off there um, and we have these uh, really irritating little uh, plastic fixtures. Um, you can you can see that they, they kind of flex up just a little bit to allow the key to pop up after you press on it. Um, and I'll see if I can get in here a little bit. Um, what we've got is uh, little metal brackets on this side and on this side that have uh, just a tiny little hole in them, a little pr plastic prong sticks through. Uh, on this side we have a little metal fold over tab comes up and folds over this way uh, and holds on to the plastic. So on this side I'm going to just um, pop the plastic out and there we go right outside of that little tiny bracket there um, and so the one side is up go in pop the other side up uh, and now the only thing that's holding it is that little that little hook right there and we can I can just lift it up so uh, plastic uh, tabby thing uh, very annoying um, two separate pieces that um, in this case actually uh, it's it's fairly easy to get them apart and, and, and back together uh, but uh, all we're basically looking at is in between the two pieces. The center piece has two little, little prongs that stick out, and so it, it just uh, spins on the center axis uh, inside of the other piece. Uh, so w once you get those two back fitting together, um, the way that this goes, um, you just basically want to get it so that they will um, sit flat, like that. Um, if you put it on wrong, it'll 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 be pretty obvious. So once you get the, the plastic things uh, back together, uh, you want to have them these together, key separate, and this empty. Uh, so we'll come across this. Um, as you can see, we've got the, the, the little metal hook thing I was pointing to earlier here and the two separate brackets on this side. Um, on the side with the little hook, uh, we want to hook in um, this smaller inside piece of the bracket. Um, it sits inside of the other one and I'll take that and hook it onto that little hook this way and then it just kind of lays down um, and uh, to get it hooked back in again um, just kind of carefully point this one in the right direction here might be a little tricky with one hand um, Um, let's see. <laughs> One hand makes this hard. Hook the one side. Pop the one little hook in right there. And this one is right there. If I had another finger to just hold this down, that would have been a breeze. Um, but I have to use my hand to hold the video camera. Um, anyway, that should be really about it. Uh, once you get the key back on, you're looking at the end of the last video that I just shot. Um, and we we just want to look uh, again at the... We have the wide hooks on this side. Uh, and, and that's what we've got on, on this side. The wide hooks correspond with the, uh, the actual the little hook part that was on there. Um, it, some of the MacBooks are different. Like I said in the first video, uh, some of the other keys are different, so the, the same general idea applies here, but uh, it's going to be slightly different. Um, anyway, look at the inside of the keys, um, and we see that the thing, the thing hooks on like that. So we want to put it here, slide it on. Uh, I picked the N. Is it right side up or upside down? Uh, it was upside down. Uh, so yes, put it in, slide it over. There we go. Piece of cake. A little bit more easy than I made it look, but um, that can be the end result. Thanks for watching.